Hey, Sneakless Man, tonight we've got Zubuntu 1104 Alpha. Yeah, I'm doing Zubuntu, you know me, I like doing the Alpha. So I'm going to quickly run through it with you. Now I'm really pleased about this one because it comes with the latest version of XFCE, which we'll get to in a bit. As you can see, I've managed to install Duty Camera called my desktop to record this. It's on one of my latest test machines, so I'm hopefully it'll be alright. Yeah. Sound on the other hand, bummer again, I still can't get the bleeding sound to work for love nor bleeding money. Please sort it out, boys. I don't really worry about it to the others. Now it is quite buggy, being an alpha. I've had several little mishaps, shall we say, but I managed to get the screencast out for you so you can see what it looks like. And as you can see, it's very clean, isn't it? I thought it was really, really, really clean. You've got your application menu up in the corner there. Lovely, lovely, but we'll come back to that in a bit. Now, down the bottom here, we've got a little bar. Look, we've got our wastebasket, our file system, and Gimpy's in there, and our media player, and the software centre, and our settings manager, and our application finder. Not to forget Thunderbird and Firefox in this version. Hmm, very interesting. So very nice. But I like the clean cut looks. It looks really, really nice. Now if we go to settings, the settings manager's there. All that's there. I mean, I could go on in. You know it's going to be in here anyway, don't you, really? So I'm just going to check out about XC. So as you can see, it's version 4.8. It's really nice. I've been, I've been testing it for a little while on different desktops. And I thought, oh, this could be really, really nice for XFC. And I really like it. It's really fast. That's what it says on the tin. Got the usual licenses, as you can see. But yeah, I'm, I'm really liking it so far. Good for me. Yes, of course. Anyway, you can expect bugs in this, by the way. Don't download it if you don't want a buggy application. Or even in the virtual box, it's going to be buggy. So, you know. So all the usual stuff. I'm going to take a screenshot, make sure that works. Of course it's going to work. All I've done here is download the system, install the updates, and put it in call my desktop so I can do the screencast for you. And I'll tell you more about that in a bit. So I'm going to save that. I'm going to save it in my pictures. And that'd be a nice little picture for us. So we go to my home folder. And go to my pictures. And we should see a little screenshot we actually took. And there it is. That all works hunky-dory. The other versions of XFCE 4.0 I've, I've used have worked really well. The base of this latest Zubuntu is having a bit of a few problems. But then it's not due out for a little while yet, is it? So I'm not too worried. They all will get worked out. And I'll be on the old... Keyboard tonight, putting in some bugs for them. GIMP is there, Restrato, and Simple Scan in your graphics. Multimedia, your XHAL as your uh, audio player. A mixer, don't work very well. Parole actually plays OG video files, which is even nicer. I really like that. XF Burn, AU Mix, doesn't work at all. It just closes itself. So, yeah. Firefox works, by the way, yeah, and all the other bits there. Office, Abbey Word, and Genomic as standard. So, I'll open up Abbey Word and we'll show you what it's like about. Look, it actually looks really nice on this desktop, I really think. And it's 2.8.6, so it does what it says on the tin. It'd be able to do all your stuff, as long as you get all your drivers for your printers and stuff that you want to do. So yeah, Science is Gene America. Didn't get that one. They insist on no, additional drivers. Bit of problem. Had a couple of crashes there while I was trying to do them. They weren't very good. Big lows there, synaptics there, task managers there. I'll open it up. As you can see, I'm recording at the same time. It's using no CPU. 9% memory. I've got 2 gig of memory on this system, if I remember correctly. Don't quite, yeah, I've got 2 on this one because I took one out from one of the other systems. So yeah, that's correct. And you also get that stays in the system, so we'll get rid of that. Just make it nice and quick and do what I do. Oh, very nice, lucky. So in this bar, we'll open up the Fox. And we'll see how we get on Firefox, shall we? And see if the net experience is any better. Looks very nice to me. So what I'm going to put it in is F6, I'll start again, XFCE 4.8. And we'll go through a few of these things on it. Because this, this is what it's really all about. I know it's the base of Ubuntu and Zubuntu, but XFCE is the baby here. So it's really using it. Now, as you'll see as we go down, some of the BSD stuff ain't going to be done very well in the future. But you can read the comments and stuff as you go. That's up to you to do. But yeah, hey. Little mouse told me, little blog, one of the blogs from XFCE. You can say some artwork and stuff like that. They're getting really into it. And I mean, I really like it. It, it shouldn't be any different, but it is different, if you know what I mean. And it's very nice. And I hope some of the other distros take it out at 4.8. Very nice indeed. As long as it doesn't start crashing now, oh, I couldn't take it anymore. Things I do for Linux. XFCE for my release. OS News. Don't know why I even clicked that, but I did. But it's all bleeding adverts. No content. But yeah, it tells you it just it just took it from the old site and just repasted it. I don't know why. Is that legal? I'm sure it's not legal. But hey, 
Never mind. No. We'll tap in book and we'll go to the BBC homepage and see how the BBC comes up. I apologise for my net connection. We had all the games consoles are on upstairs, so I lost on these thing. Gary Moore's died. Blimey. Bummer. God, I'm getting old, not I? People around just start dying. Blimey. But yes, the page renders very nice. Everything's in there. Nice. I like it. I can't really fault it, really. So, we'll go to the tube, I think. So I'll type in YouTube, make sure Google's still working. Yeah, it doesn't crash. So we'll go over to YouTube. Right, there yeah, we'll get to a bit of a problem in a minute. And I'll tell you more about it in a second. So the actual YouTube page comes up okay, doesn't it? Yeah, that's super fine. Nice. So I type in me, because then I ain't breaking the law. So I think it's there, I'm in the house. So what ones I'll click on. Just as if it works. Now I know damn well it ain't going to work because I'm not installed the Ubuntu restricted extras, which comes with all the extras you need to run Flash, etc. But what happened here? As soon as I clicked it, the whole bleeding thing froze. So I waited and I waited and I waited and I waited and I waited. This is why I've had to overdub this one, by the way. I thought I'd tell you. And I waited. It did unfreeze eventually, but then I just got rid of it. Anyway, that was, that's the, one of the bad bits. Anyway, back to the menu. We go to System, we go to Synaptic, and you can see some other problems I've had trying to install stuff. I mean, all my desktop went okay, but lots of others didn't. But then it is an alpha. That's why I said we're on the old keyboard later. We're all in these bugs. Now, on the whole, I really, really, really like the look of this. It's superb. It's nice and clean and fresh. You've got a nice clean bar at the bottom. No worries. I like it. I think you might too. Oh, yeah. Nice. So that's Zubuntu. 1104 Alpha. Nice. See you later.